You are now an independent dental hygienist with your own practice. This means you need your own manuals, policies, logs, including IPAC. So I'm a mobile dental hygienist. I don't have my own physical location practice. I travel mobile into clients' homes and nursing homes and offices. I still need my own office policies and manual. Think of any business, any institution, think of Subway, think of Tim Hortons. When you walk in, if that health inspector is there, the first thing they're gonna wanna see are those policies and manuals. All of that paperwork that you have to have. Do you ever need it? Are you ever going to use it? More than half the things in there, no, but you still need it. So as an independent dental hygienist, I've done all of this hard work for you. I've had my own practice since 2018 and I've been working on my manuals and logs and safety data sheets and IPAC protocols. I've worked on all of that since then and I've done all the hard work for you and I'm selling that as a full package. So if you're thinking, oh my goodness, Andrea, I'm an independent dental hygienist. I don't even know where to start with my logs, my policies, procedures, step-by-step. -step. Don't worry, I have it all for you. And the best part is it's fully customizable as it would have to be specific to your practice, right? My sterilization logs might not be the same as yours or I might have an extra staff member that you don't have that has to initial. So everything does have to be fully editable, fully customizable, and I have that all there for you, so don't worry. All of my step-by-step -step procedures, of course your step-by-steps are going to be different, but at least you have that for you. I have mine where I show you, and then you can easily just customize it how it suits your practice, how it suits your procedures. For your sealant procedure, as an example, I don't place sealant, so I'm not going to have that as part of my IPAC manual, part of my step-by-step -step logs, all of that, but you're going to need that. So that is something you would add in. And don't worry, I help you with all of that. So inside my IPAC policies manual training course for independent dental hygienists, I have everything there for you to easily download, which I will show you guys in a second, to easily download and customize. But there's also teaching videos where I'm talking to you similar as I'm talking to you now, where I go through everything and I help you step by step to really figure out, okay, how are you going to customize it for your practice? You're going to be going through every day, looking at every single chemical you use use every single device, every single probe, every single instrument, and you're going to be making an inventory and writing that down. That's part of your policies and procedures log. I used to do this for dental offices and they have passed the audit inspection. Back 10 years ago when that was a more regular thing in dental offices where they would literally just call and show up and inspect the office, especially during COVID times, if you remember that, any manual, anything that I had done up for that dental office past the audit inspection. So I definitely know what I'm doing and I've done it for my own practice. I had an audit inspection when COVID I think was just ending and I passed my own as well. So I know what I'm doing. But let me share my screen here just to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. So this was just kind of something that I designed for um, social media where I have all the different logs here for you. And what you would do is you would simply open up your file look at all of the logs that I have, like just to show you here, but you can change it up to make it specific to you. So let's say you have equipment repair, but you wanted this one to be specific to, I don't know, compressor, even though I do have an another one for compressor, but you can edit it very, very easily. And then you can change the font. You can make it smaller. You can make it bigger. You can change any of this as well. You can change the colors. Maybe you don't like blue. Maybe you like purple. Maybe your office colors inc include yellow. Maybe you don't like this gray here. You want it to be blue or you want it to be multicolor or you want it to be orange. You can change up all of this. So I've made it very, very easy. Now let me just take away some of that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have changed my own file. There we go. So see, you can customize everything. It's right there for you. And it's in very easy to read, very easy to see a file so you don't have to worry. Now, the next one here, this is the actual manual itself. So let me zoom in. I'm still working on it. So by the time you see inside, it will probably look a little bit different. 
These are just some of the title pages that I have. I'm explaining the point of your RDH manual. So all of these sheets here, again, you can customize them to change the color, change the font, change the wording. Let's say you want it to be this font here. You can easily change that. Let's say you don't like blue. You want to stick to an off white or a gray or black even. Heck, you can do whatever you want right there. See, so you can change it up customize anything. I've done all the hard work for you. You would just simply change it up to your practice. Okay. So I'm going to change that back again. <laughs> so everything here, you can save as a digital file or print them. If you like, it's completely up to you. I have clear instructions on how to save everything, how to print everything. You can even send it to Canva. This is the system that I use and Canva prints it for you and then mails it to your home address. That's an option that you can do as well. Up here it says print with Canva. You can print it however you want. You would enter in your, your address. You can even make it into a notebook, which I think is super cool. You would just input your address and then they will let you know how much shipping and everything is. Look at that. Small, large, you can make it different um, lines on the paper. You can make it soft cover, hard cover, $43 for 114 pages, I think is amazing. But you can do all of this inside Canva for you. You don't have to pay extra for your Canva software. Canva is free. Don't worry, once you log in to the course that I have for you, I explain how to do all of this. But look, you guys, so you have all these sheets. Let me just zoom in again. And any sheet you don't need, you don't have to use it. You would just simply not print it, n not save it. Let's say you want to add more for emergency preparedness. You can do that too. Let's say you want to make the font smaller, bigger. You want to add another page. You can do all of it. But it's 114 pages. It might be a little bit more, might be a little bit less, depending on when I'm actually done the course. It's still a couple weeks out but it's all here for you guys. This has taken me months, um, like five hour days every day for months, but it's completely worth it. This is exactly what I use for my own practice, my own manuals. And I've just simply saved it all so that other people can use it too. So you can take advantage of my hard work. Why not? I wish there was another dental hygienist who did this for me. That would have been fantastic. So, and again, you can customize it, which is my favorite part. This is the first year where I've, I've allowed things to be fully customizable. I've had these manuals in previous years and they've looked amazing if I do say so myself, but they've all been in a Word document. So you're, you're able to customize them, sure, but you can't make them look pretty like the one that I had just shown you. Let me show you again. I think this looks super nice and you can change up the colors however you want. There's another sheet, which I forgot to mention, um, log explanations. So let me zoom in. So those logs that I was showing you, the equipment repair, you know, things like that, this is in a Word document because I figured it was just easier to see. And it's not something you're going to be printing necessarily unless you want to. But I explain what all of these um, logs are for. So this one is the dental unit water line. And I explain what you need in your log, what everything means, and then you can change it up in Canva if you want. I give examples so you know exactly why you're doing it and like when to do it how to do it. So this is in a Word document, actually Google Docs, depending on which system you have, but just to read through it. And this is, I think, about 25 pages. So a lot here for you. So you have health and safety. You have IPAC, which includes the infection control. You have step-by-step -step for the mobile dental hygiene procedures, which is still being worked on, but you are going to have it all. So definitely sign up now if this is something you're interested in. Don't try to do it yourself unless, of course, you want to, but it's a lot of work, takes a lot of time. Invest in yourself and purchase this full package. It's a business expense, perfect business expense. You know, you can get a, you can, you, you can get a credit on it is what I'm trying to say. It's a great business expense. Do it so you don't have to worry about it. I wish somebody else had made these manuals for me. That would have been fantastic because it took so much time. But let me know, you guys, if you have any questions. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.